Lee Maycock faces two tough problems. The kids he teaches about cooking game meat are generally tough, urban kids who wouldn't know a partridge from a pigeon. And the few of them who have tried game before have found it tough because the world is bad at cooking game. Sponsored by the Countryside Alliance Foundation's game marketing programme Game to Eat, Lee runs one-day courses at catering colleges teaching the chefs of the future about game. We join him on a course at Harford Regional College, Broxbourne in Hertfordshire. Just a few miles from London, this is as far from game habitat as you can get. The idea of today is, is to try and give the students an understanding of, of where games come from. Um, what they tend to get is when they order game is they'll get it in a plastic tray coming in a bit of cellophane. Um, what we're doing is bringing game in its raw state so it'll be fur and feathered game for them to get to look, understand, touch, feel and then essentially cook with um, so they get a better understanding of obviously where it's come from originally. These students are not country lads and lasses. Only one of the 18 on the course today has used a gun before out rabbit shooting with his uncle. They might see the odd wood pigeon, they might see the odd monk jack um, and possibly a pheasant if they get out you know, obviously into the countryside. But no, they, obviously they don't see a great deal. So again, hence the reason of sort of this, this workshop is to sort of try and give them an insight into what is out there and what's available. And they've all been sort of wanting to sort of see more. We did, we did a skinning process where they were very interested in. Um, we've just cooked three or four dishes and, and they've absolutely cleared everything, said they enjoyed everything they tasted. So, and that's a first time for a lot of them. They've, you know, they've never seen a deer skinned, they've never seen a pheasant plucked, they, they've, they've, they've not tasted game. So for them it's all new, but they were very sort of, you know, open-armed about welcoming the whole thing. Lee grew up in rural Oxfordshire. He now lives in Hertfordshire, which is much more urban. If one or two, just it makes them sit up and think, yeah, this is something I could get interested in, this is something I'd like to you know, pursue and go and join a local gun club or, or something or just get themselves in the countryside a bit more. And Yeah, absolutely. I think if we can, you know, we're not going to turn everybody, but all we need is just ones and twos in these large groups and it will make a huge difference. Then there's the matter of how to cook game. So you talk to anybody in the streets and, what, and you know, they will tell you that the game comes across as sort of you know, tough and dry and, and overcooked a lot of the time and I think that's the big message we're trying to get across here is that it doesn't need to be overcooked, it's that sort of just cook that we're looking for and you know, if you'll eat your steak rare, eat your piece of venison exactly the same way. Here's Lee's recipe for a carpaccio using any venison fillet. He uses a lean piece of red deer meat which is not considered as good as roe or the best seeker it still turns out delicious. Roll it in juniper dust, smoked sea salt and cracked black pepper. Roll it tight in cling film. Put it in the freezer for a couple of hours to let the salt start to do its work to break down the enzymes. You can then eat that piece of meat like cured meat. No cooking by heat at all. Lee also demonstrates for the students a pan-fried pigeon breast with lemon-crushed peas, a pheasant breast wrapped in bacon and served on a bubble and squeak, and a loin of venison served with butternut squash and black pudding bonbons. Countryside Alliance, it's their campaign to promote British game, to promote consumption. Game was consumed last year on 57 million occasions, so it's definitely on the increase. And I think if we just keep these workshops going and educating the, the youngsters of tomorrow, to obviously they can obviously carry on this tradition and uh, we can all keep eating game for a long time.